Hey y'all, this is David, the Georgia Photographer, and today I'm in downtown Chattanooga, and we're gonna be doing a vlog. I'm here with Erwin. All right, we can get that awkward part out of the way. Erwin also shoots a Leica CL. He found my videos, reached out to me through email. We linked up today, had, some, had a slice of pizza at Loopy's. And now we're actually trying, after we chatted for probably the better part of an hour, we're gonna take some pictures. We're inside the parking garage. We found a spot that's pretty interesting. Irwin's waiting on an opportunity to pass by the opening. Let's see. Oh, there it went. Did you get it? See, I wasn't adjusting for him. I wanted a, a car, but I yeah. didn't pass up him being there. So no sure. kidding. Give a little bit of blur as to what the. What oh, yeah, that's going to look great. Yeah, we'll try that. Yeah. Right, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I got this photo instead. I was using the lights over the car as, la as a leading line. What do you uh, think? I was going to talk to the camera, but it seems that the ambulance is taking precedence. The moment it goes around the corner of the building, you can't hear it no more hardly. That thing is loud. Well, we came up here on top of the EPB parking lot down here on Market and what is this cross street? Uh, eight? This is 8th Street? I think it is, isn't it? 10th. 10th. Oh, we're going the other way, yeah. Market and 10th, and on the other side is Broad and 10th. And we're, and we're going around looking at all the things you can see from the rooftop. And during the day, it's a completely different experience than at night. But there's so much to see. And it's interesting to come with different photographers because different people see the world through a different set of eyes and a different perception. And you get these completely different points of view. And it's just amazing to me to see people see different compositions every time. Like, just blows my mind. Like, I'm gonna get this down this street here on Broad with the trees lining it and the reed house in the foreground. This is a pretty cool photo, you know, see that? So I'm gonna get that photo right quick and then I'm gonna set this down and we're gonna go somewhere else and find something else to take a picture of. All right, so you don't use autofocus glass at all. I don't. Now, why, what brought you to this realization? Um, I got lazy. I feel like I started to depend too heavily on the camera's ability to focus. And conceptually, I feel like a lot of people understand the value of it and I, I do as well but I wanted to feel like I was completely in touch with whatever I was taking a photo of and I'm not someone who I'm not somebody who's good enough to claim that they needed to be in touch with what they were taking a photo of but for me part of the fun of it is the difficulty that comes with nailing something either the first time or the first couple of times or the 100th time but the point is that when it is nailed and fully dialed in, I was the complete reason as to why it happened. It's kind of selfish, I guess. I didn't want the camera to get the credit for nailing the focus. I wanted to do it. <laughs> so that's why I decided I'm going to use only manual focus lenses. And they're cheaper, and I'm broke, so you got to work with that. <laughs> well, that makes sense. I mean, it gives you, it gives you the skill set to drive right. the camera in any condition right. at any time. Yeah, I never wanted to feel like I was just holding the camera because when I first started that's what I was doing and I wanted to feel like every single bit of a photograph that was made aside from the subject was me I got to do everything control everything it is very selfish very conceited but <laughs> it's the way I like to do things well, that works I mean that that's in my opinion that's one of the best ways to learn yeah if you can do that do that and it helped me teach others who wanted to know how I did things, how I did it. I could fully explain how I made it happen and what I felt like when we talked about um, range focusing mm -hmm. and being able to do it just by, you know, off the hip. I was able to explain to someone how to do that because I knew how to focus without half pressing the shutter or pressing the back button. I know how to get zone focus the way I need to get it to get a shot. Nice. And I wanted you guys to hear him tell you that because he was telling me that and I was like, dude, I got to get this on camera. This is way too valuable to just let wander off into the ether.
Well, I finally ran down the battery in the Leica. We've actually had a really good time. We've got a bunch of interesting photos for midday light where it's really contrasty and just like normally it would be like really hard conditions. But now we're, we're, it's starting to get um, about 3.30 or so in the afternoon. We're starting to see like he's found him a composition looking through the fence of the parking garage. We're starting to see those kind of long, long shadow compositions that are starting to look really good. The whole area today has actually been really colorful. The, the colors have just been really good. I don't know what the deal is with the wintertime sun, but it actually has made for really good photos today. And look, I'm getting my photo taken. <laughs> <laughs> Big old possum grin. <laughs> but you never know what you're going to find if you don't get out and go shoot. That's the magic. If you don't have that, if you don't have that time out in the field, then you won't know if you're going to get photos or not. Just assuming because it's blue skies with no clouds and full sun that you're not going to get anything interesting is it's a misnomer. You have to actually just get out there and go look. And if you do that, then you'll actually find some interesting photos. That's the only way you'll find them is just get out and go hunt them. Whew. Hey, all right, we're back. And it's been a really good day. I would have to say probably one of my best days just out random shooting street photography. Made a new friend. It was all good. We actually didn't even know what either looked like today. All we've done is conversed on email. If you get an opportunity to go meet up with somebody new to go shoot street photos with, do it. Just do it. Life's too short to piddle around and be apprehensive and worried about this or that or this or that. Just go have some fun. Make a new friend. I, I feel honored to have met you today, Erwin. I'm serious. <laughs> it, it, was a, it was a very special thing that I get to meet yet another photographer, not to mention you shoot Leica. That, that don't hurt either pair of CLs for the win, <laughs> but it was just so much fun today. We, we sat and ate pizza, talked about cameras for way too long, <laughs> then went out and shot street photography. The parking ran out. I'll probably have a parking ticket. And I was like, um, um, nope, I somehow evaded death. <laughs> Hopefully you did too. Uh, yeah, we'll find out when we get over this <laughs> But if you, if you haven't done it yet, subscribe right down there. So is the thumbs up. And if you, if you don't hit the thumbs up, you're, you're really gonna hurt my feelings. And it's just gonna bother me. So just gonna say it. But <laughs> until next time, get your camera out and go take a picture with it. All right, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.